You guys, me, welcome back to another Sumi Shays video. And today, guys, we're going to be doing a retrospective mail call. A retrospective one. We're going to be using some stuff that I got yesterday in a surprise, unsolicited, unbeknownst to me, completely out of the blue mail call box, guys. And it came from Charles, so you know it's going to be fun, it's going to be wacky, it's going to be wild. You're going to want to stick around for this, I promise. Um, for all you guys that are new, really quick before we go wild and go completely crazy, please go below, give me a thumb, give me a comment, hit them buttons, and give me a sub. I would love to have you guys here as part of the army. Let me know if you do that. I'm happy to interact with you. That's why I'm here. Um, I had a lot of energy today because I missed yesterday's shave, guys. I missed it. My wife and I, we hung out. We had a little uh, couple's time. She shaved. I shaved. We had a good time talking about up-and-coming projects, things that we've been thinking about and working on. And she did ask me the doomsday question. She's like sitting there, she's shaving. She goes, so have we bought anything new? I don't know how to answer those questions anymore. I would, I would rather take a lie detector test with the FBI than take questions from the bathroom behind me. Man, it's craziness. Craziness. And the answer was yes. We have stuff that's coming. I don't want to spoil it. But yeah, the answer was yes. And I did survive by just the nick skin of my teeth, guys. Nick skin. Um, somebody posted on Facebook and they asked. They said, you know, does your wife really care if you buy things? Does she really care, guys? That was a post. I swear to you guys, I get treated like a naughty two-year-old that has written on the wall. You know what I mean? I go to the corner. I'm like, I, I didn't mean to. There was a buy it now button. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll clean it up. I'll clean my mess up. I'm sorry. I, I know. I know. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this. It's because it's I was with her all day yesterday. And we just, I don't know. It brings out those uh, excitement and, and, and uh, maybe a little bit of fear. I think it's, it's healthy fear though, right? I think all husbands need to have a little healthy fear. All right. Guys, let's talk about what happened. I got a package on the on the doorstep, and again, I was like, I didn't buy anything, honey. I promise. Like, don't look at this box, honey. Don't look at it and think that I did something I shouldn't have. She's like, that's a big box. I'm like, yeah, but what is it a big box of? I lift it up, and it had a cat on it, guys. It was a cat litter box. I kid you not. Just came in the mail, kitty litter box. It was like this big. I like, I'm only like this big. It was like this big. All right, Are you with me? It was a big box, and I was like, hunt. We don't own a cat. I don't know what's going on. Um, and then it had Charles's name on it, right? Charles texts me. He's like, did you get a package on your front door? I was like, I don't know. Should I have go outside, get the package, start opening it. And I was going to do an unboxing video, but I'm learning when I open boxes, sometimes I don't know what's going to be in them. So it's better for me to open them and then kind of look through, reevaluate and see if it's something I should post. Right. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. Uh, the first thing in top of the box guys, and I, I sat everything out for you so you guys can see. What it's like in a life of Subi Shaves opening up a mystery box, a secret Santa mystery box, right? First thing that we opened up, we had uh, uh, some some uh, some uh, syringes, Ster Sterling syringes, guys. We got a lot of them. We got lots of these things now. Got them. I was trying to figure out what I could do with shave wise with them. My wife was excited. She's like, Josh, we're gonna use these and put them in our 24 hour kit. So I told Charles, I'm like, we have a 24-hour kit, we'll put them in. She's like, what's a 24-hour kit? It's like a medical preparedness in case we have a gigantic flood or a tornado or a hurricane because we get them all on the East Coast. We get all those things. It's so much fun. Next thing in the package, kid you not, guys, I was like, okay, that was, didn't see that one coming. That was left fill, right? Who would see that coming? Who would ever know that was going to happen? Boom. Opened up these gauze pads, guys. Gauze pads. Um, split sponges. These are actually quite useful. So my wife again was like, throw, throw those in the medical kit. We need those in the medical kit. So sweet, right? I, I was excited. I was like, all right, we medical kit away. Um, then we had, we had more, more syringes, a lot of syringes. I, I'm surprised. I think, I think he did tell me they were for mainlining shave soap or some kind of shave product just to get my energy up a little bit. He's like, you know, you've been seeming down. Your energy seems low. You need to mainline some shave stuff and get some excitement in your life. And I was like, dude, I would do that. I would totally do that, but I would die. So I would not want to do that. Then I opened up this little tiny bo uh, box and it had this guy in it. And this is the Achilles um, aftershave. We're going to be using this. Guys, this is like a 12 on scent strength for me. And it smells like bay rum. I asked him, I was like, Charles, is this bay rum? And he's like, no, I think it's like a, like spices and citrus. I don't know. It reminds me of a bay rum. 
it's very nice, but it is like you open it up and it kind of smells like an air freshener. Like the whole entire room becomes that scent. It's very nice, very strong. I tried some of my forearm. I didn't have an allergic reaction, but he did say that that's so strong. Some people have like skin irritation. We got sterilitic powder because apparently he's uh, scared for my well-being. He knows that I'm going to end up getting cut using crazy handles. Um, he sent me the barbershop scent from Sterling, which I had not actually sampled, guys. This is the barbershop scent. And I figured what we'll do today is we're just going to combine all these things that he sent us for one mas one mystery magical shave. It's going to be a mystery magical surprise retrospective shave out of a shave box, right? Charles did this for us, so we might as well. He sent my adorable wife two of her favorite blades, right? She's, a, she's an Astra fan. She likes these greens. I can't stand these. These can burn in an everlasting pit of fire. I can't stand them. She loves them. And the Derby Blues are just good. I, I, I think they're an awesome blade for me. They're an awesome blade for her. They're a mild blade, guys. So if you're like, if your skin's feeling really irritated, the Astra Blues or Derby Blues, the extras, they're really a smooth thing. I like them personally. Maybe not everybody likes the Derbies. They're pretty cheap. They're affordable. I don't know. They're a good budget. They're a good budget blade for me. Um, and I think he knows that. And then he also sent us Kazao, some Lab Blues. He knows I like Lab Blues. Um, they're wildly sharp and they, they get sharper as you use them. So because they are coated, you have to kind of plan for when the coating wears off. They're going to get really sharp and really aggressive. Um, I don't mind that, but beware. These are definitely some blades that have wild swings and aggressiveness, okay? Especially as you get to that third and fourth shave. He sent us over some um, soap today, guys. He sent me over Palmyra. And it, I think he said Servian, I'm pretty sure. Um, this is a very old soap. This is a shave soap that's like a hundred and something years old. It's uh, from it's a foreign shave soap. I had a hard time looking this up, but it's got a lot of apparently it's it's a it's a fairly well known, fairly uh, good formula for shave soap. It's not like anything that draws you in, like the American artisans that are putting all these scents and fragrances in it. But it's interesting that it's so ancient and still being produced the same way. I think that's fascinating. I love that part of it. So when I opened it and he was telling me about it, I was like, that's such a cool, like, I love the concept of these brands, like, you know, like, like Cella, right? For instance, he sent me some Cella. And again, Cella is a company that's been around for like over a hundred years and making the same thing they were making before in the beginning. And I love the way it smells, guys. Cella for me is just, it smells like biscotti. And I love Cella. I think Cella is awesome. I think the performance is great. And there's not like a whole lot left in being wanted or desired after using it. My skin feels good. It's soft. There's not like a ton of things that make my skin oily after using Chella. So Charles, I know you know, but thank you so much for throwing some Chella my way. I love Chella and I know that I'm going to get my wife hooked on Chella. I'm trying to get my wife hooked on Chella too. Um, and then he sent me this one. It's a more for you. And this one, guys, for me, it is a very extremely um, barbershop scent. It's got like lemon to it, but then it's definitely a powdery talc uh, undertone. This to me smells very, uh, just like standard. If you were going to go to a, a barber, like back in the, like, if you go to a barber in England, even, you know, this is what I imagine it would smell like. I don't know, but I would imagine. Kind of cool, right? Look at the packaging on it. I don't know. It's, it, I think it's rad. It has like the stamp on it. It's a hard milled soap. And you can see he actually took a little bit with a grater. Charles is the guy that taught me how to grate soap. And she, he actually wrote an article about grating soap. He just graters it and then uses the little shavings. And so he sent me this. I'm going to grater soap up and try it out. I think it smells really nice. I haven't gratered it up yet. Um, then he also sent me some Rapiris. I have not had any experience with Rapiris other than the Rapira. I think they're the Ultras or the, they're in a gray box. And they were really good. This The Super Maxes, Super, I don't know. There are, But I've not tried these blue ones. So I'm excited. I'm going to try blue ones out someday. And... He sent me smashed. <laughs> these perma sharps have seen some days, but I actually just ran out yesterday. So he sent me these and he's going to keep us live on perma sharps. Thank goodness. Cause I am completely out. And then he sent me these guys, Zircoms blades, Zircams. And I don't ever talk about blades. Cause I only, I only use like two, right? Two different brands, but these Zircams, he's like, try them out. Oof. I tried it on my head yesterday, guys, and I could not get him to shave my stubble. I did three passes, and I was like, I still needed like 10 more passes. So those blades, I don't know who's going to use them in my house. Maybe my wife will like them. I did not like them. Um, some feathers. 
And everybody who can, these are the infamous, you either love them or hate them. I have not met a person that's in between. That's like, yeah, they're fine. No, either love them or you hate them. It's from my experience, guys. And then he also sent me these cool things. Look at these blades. These are Timors. Um, they're Eastern European, and I think they look rad. I think this is some of the coolest packaging I've ever seen on blades. Isn't that cool? It made me think about like collecting for a second. I'm like, should I collect the little inserts? Because that's like a really cool insert. I don't know. That's probably the coolest insert I've seen. Um, all right. So if that wasn't enough, right? I know you guys are like, he did, is there any more? What was in this package? I know. I know. He sent me a stamped. This is the Maggards. Oh, uh, very aggressive. They're ultra aggressive stamped head. One of them's an aggressive head. I can't remember, guys. He sent me two. So one of these is the aggressive head. One is the uh, more medium head. I believe he said this one's the aggressive and this is the medium. I'm pretty sure is what he said. I, 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 I'm I going to have to play around with it. I, I don't know. There's no markings on either of them. But these are both from Maggards. I think this one's really pretty. If we look at them, like you have like the matte and then you have the gloss. I think that gloss is stunning, guys. I really like this gloss finish. And then he also sent me the um, Razor Rock. This is like a ball end copycat, right? It looks like a ball end uh, tech, but it's not. It's like a thicker ball end. It's just a little heavier, thicker stainless steel. I think it's cool. So Charles, thank you so much. We're going to be shaving with the razors that you sent us today. We're, I, like I said, I've not used these guys, so bear with me. Hopefully they're great shaves. If not, we'll blame Charles. We'll all rally around and blame Charles. Uh, and then today he also sent guys in the same package. He sent me this bowl. Ready for this? Check this out. He sent this to me. It is a marble bowl, marble shave bowl. And I've already got my lather from the uh, cella developed. And I'm going to be using a brush that he sent me in one of his other surprise packages. Uh, this is from Frank Shaves, Frankly Shaves. And this is their 30 mil um, synthetic brush, guys. And I've, like I said, I already got the cella. Already got the cella ready to go. So that we uh, could do the, we could waste our time doing the discussion rather than lathering, right? I'd rather talk to you guys lather, well, uh, you know, about what we got rather than scent and lathering. So we'll, we're just going to do that. And then today for scent, other than the Achilles, we're going to use uh, Tom Ford's Fetching Fabulous because he sent this to me in the package before this one. So we're going to be using another scent. So this whole entire shave, guys, came from the bathroom of my buddy Charles. Came from the bathroom of my buddy Charles and... If you're like, oh, I got to start. Oh, and he also sent bar soap for my wife. She's been using it, Charles. <laughs> she already got it out. And this is like a lavender, very nice, very uh, fragrant uh, hand soap. And if you guys can't tell, like me and Charles are buddies. We've been buddies for a long time before the channel. Um, and we're just kind of the oddballs in every group we've ever been a part of. So this kind of the humor you're getting out of this, <laughs> maybe some of that experience. Um, he also sent this. Uh, I forgot because I'm just so used to seeing this. This is the Nivea, um, this is like an aftershave balm. I used this all the way through college when I was a cart shaver because you can buy it in like your grocery stores. And I actually got really good results from this using a cartridge shave. I have not used this since switching over to a uh, DE. So I don't, I assume it's probably pretty good because it was good when I was cart shaving. And honestly, my head was always jacked up cart shaving. So I assume it's going to be nice. Um, let's get one loaded up. And today, guys... I'm not gonna lie to you. I did some things. I had some fun. I built my own handle the other day out of a four inch by half inch bolt. This is just a typical bolt from Home Depot, guys, that I tapped, threaded, drilled. Uh, I drilled, tapped, and threaded it, guys. I thought, why not? Why not have these awesome lather channels, right? <laughs> these bougie things. Why not really go pro with the thing, right? Why not just elevate myself right up and use a bolt to shave? And I showed Facebook and I actually had a artisan reach out and I'm going to be um, sending him uh, two, two handles and, and two blanks. And he's going to do some playing around and we're going to see if we can't make this pretty. How funny is that? I thought it was really funny. I thought, I'm, so stay tuned, stay excited. Hopefully we end up making this bolt handle just into something unique and mark, you know, uh, remarkable and, and fantastic. I think it's going to be awesome, guys. Don't you think, can you see like an outline here of something stunning? I can see it. I mean, it, I think it's cool now, but it's like steampunk meets hillbilly, right? 
See, it, look, look at my hand. It has like a nice hold for my hand. ABC, guys, back in the day, Gillette made a bolt end handle. They did do it. So this isn't that far-fetched. And I like that it stands by itself. Huh? Huh? All these blade makers making razors that don't stand by themselves. So I think that's cool. And guys, I noticed I loaded two blades into this. And I'm going to start. I'm going to load some uh, lab blues right up. I'm going to snap them because that's how I roll. I only load half of my razors. You guys know that. I don't know. I've been talking forever. I just, it was an awesome mail call. And I, I'm excited to use the whole entire mail call in a shave. I think that's awesome. I'm going to take this um, lab blue, guys. And I'm going to load it directly into the one side of this uh, razor so you guys can see kind of what it looks like. I was really surprised. This is the Maggard's head, guys. Keep that in mind. Maggard's head. I didn't have to trim anything, and it fits. So this head is actually designed to not have to do any trimming, any blade cutting, any of that. And it just goes right in, and you don't have the blade tabs. They're all covered. And I love that the blade tabs are covered. Charles, thank you so much, dude. <clears throat> I can't tell you guys how excited I am that I don't have to cut blade tabs off for this razor. I love that. I think Henson does that. Some of the upper models are doing that. And I think that's absolutely the way the future should be for all the e-shaving. Because I just, I really prefer not having to do with blade wings as a head shaver. And he also sent me, I'll show you guys, a uh, fountain pen uh, cartridge fill. Because he believes in sustainable writing as well as shaving. Thought I'd throw that out there. He believes in sustainable writing as well as shaving so that was kind of cool i didn't know what that was i had never seen um uh like a like a, like a, one of those old style pens right but really interesting very interesting and i'm using it currently to get my blades into place there we go really like this razor charles i really like the the color i think it just absolutely looks and has such good fit and finish for a Maggard's branded, you know, Maggard's stamp. Guys, check this out. So this is one half of the blade loaded. I believe this is going to be the more mild of the two, but it does have good efficiency because of the blade gap here. It has plenty of blade gap. You see how much blade gap is there? But it doesn't have a ton of blade exposure. It's going to feel much more like the Henson that I love, um, honestly. And I just love that it covers that blade tab. I think that's really cool. So there you go. Uh, this is the Maggard stamped. We're going to test it out and we're going to use um, the bolt handle that I created for fun. For fun. Uh, and like, hopefully, this artisan gets back with me and we get something that's unique. You know, he said he, he thinks he can make something really cool out of the two of them that I have. I drilled and stamped two. Oh, and we're going to use Charles' sandalwood uh, shave cream. He sent me these too. So, yeah, today essentially, guys, 100% Charles with a little bit of sous shave sprinkled in there. That's, that's all we got going on. That's all we got going on. Uh, hopefully your weekends were phenomenal. Um, we had beautiful weather here in Connecticut. Absolutely beautiful. I went swimming at the beach. And then today sucks. Today is raining, so I can't go thrifting. I was going to go and do the farmer's market and the thrifting, but no one shows up if it rains. And it's raining like cats and dogs outside, so... I am not going to be able to get out to the out to the farmer's market. So instead, guys, I'm going to go see Peter over from A&E. &E, and I'm going to pick up some soaps and maybe some splashes. We're going to go see what Peter's got going on over there. I'm excited. I love seeing Peter. He has been too busy for me as of late. The dude is working magic inside of his mystery shop. And I'm hoping to see some cool stuff today. We're going to see what good old Peter has got going on. And if, if Subi Shaves ends up taking home things and then has to explain to the wife that it is to support our neighbors, right? Because Peter lives by me. So I can almost get away with, well, honey, it's supporting the neighbors. This is the neighbor's hobby, and so we support it. Ah, oh, the, just the loopholes we get ourselves through. So let's do this shave again. This is with the lab <clears throat> blue guys. And we're going to see how it does. Whew, that was a lot, man. That was That was a lot of chatting. Charles, you about killed me, dude. I ran out of air. I ran out of steam, man. Good heavens. Woof. You guys see all that stuff? Now I got to find places in my 24-hour kit for it to all go. Craziness. Oh, you guys see with the, the exotic, expensive handle here? The Subi Shaves handle. And if you're curious, guys, this is 4-inch handle. And it is 96 or 98 
grams. My uh, my poor little scale has been through too much in its life to have an accurate measuring. It sits there and flickers now, back and forth. But it's like 60, 96, 98, somewhere in there. And I watched uh, some of my local sh uh, friends shave and I saw some people with head wounds, head cuts. So we're praying for no head cuts today, guys. A couple of my channels that I follow, I saw some people cut their heads. And I think part of that, honestly, is just, you know, getting into it. I cut my head so many times, learning how to DE my head. And then you just learn that it's just a light pressure situation and it becomes so easy. I also feel like you're, you, know, you learn how to do the strokes. I think strokes are super important. You know, the with the grain, across the grain, and then against the grain. And that you're not fighting the hair follicle the whole entire time. I also feel like it does, you, finding the right tool um, matters. I have now shaved my head with probably a hundred different razors. And there's definitely been ones that I prefer over other ones. Right? For sure. Not to say that any of them are bad, it's just... You know, some of them are not as good for me and the, my stubble type. But guys, if I can shave with a bolt, come on, you guys can do it. No problems. I'm, I'm just a noob, right? I'm just this nobody guy that's just having a good shave. If I can do it, you guys can do it. Okay, that was with the grain. Definitely this little head. And keep in mind, I've never shaved with this razor ever. I did a shoulder. The other day, just for funsies, but I've I've never shaved with this, and I'm doing it with a weird handle. And if I can do that, guys, I have 100% faith in you guys being able to do this. We're gonna go across the grain for me. I will say that this razor has um has a different vibe to it. It doesn't have that bite, you know what I mean? That some of them have when they have a lot of exposure. But at the same time, it does not, it has plenty of efficiency due to the blade gap. I really like this. This is nice. This is a really nice shave. Very easy to get in and go kind of fast. I like the handle too, the knob, the little uh, place where you would actually use to you know, a, a screw something in, a bolt, bolt something into something else is actually the top end of it's really easy to hold on to, guys. And again, that was just me um, walking around Home Depot and realized that they had a sale going on with the bargain bin bolts. And I paid a dollar or two per bolt. And they seemed like the right size and angle, so I just tapped it and screwed, it, uh, and screwed my, my head right into it. Screwy metal like that does take a little bit of effort. But if you go slow, like you would your shave, and you use some oil, some cutting oil, yeah, I had no problems cutting into the um, into the bolt using a standard drill and a uh, vise. I'm not used to handle this big anymore, though. I used to really prefer it. Now it almost feels kind of clunky. To be perfectly honest, guys. It almost feels clunky. It feels like needless. Honestly, at this point, after shaving my head so many times, it just feels kind of like the extra is not really necessary. You know, this is a true four inch. Like a hundred something millimeters, hundred millimeters. Nice! Charles, not bad, dude. Not bad at all. Maybe a little bit less efficient than some things I'm used to. But as far as like a pretty mild way of shaving. Yeah, this is not bad. This definitely has a, its own little personality to it. I like that. I like the little personality it has. I like that. Nice. Having to kind of go over some of my, my trouble spots a little bit more than I would typically. 
right? If we were using the leaf, we'd already be done. But again, the leaf, right, kind of formulated for this, whereas this is like a more one in, you know, you can do everything with this. This is this is pretty, pretty good, man. Pretty not bad. Not bad at all. You know, I, I personally, I believe with the uh, right technique, guys, that you can shave with just about anything. Tell you what, let's swap it up. Let's change this over really quick. I just want to try the other one now. See how it does. See how it feels. Um, this one was really nice, Charles. I think that, that razor absolutely would go fantastic in anybody's drop bag that wants like something that they don't have to chop you know blades up with or do any of that extra effort. Nice shave, really nice shave. I, I I probably would prefer something that is a little bit more efficient. So let's see what this this guy he sent me is apparently more than efficient. So we're gonna we're gonna find out. Oh yeah, this is definitely the aggressive one. Aggressive, whatever you wanna call it, extra efficient. Call it what you want. But I can see just looking at it, it's definitely got a lot more blade guys to it, a lot more blade gap. This is another one of those razors where you, you would cut the the blade tabs. I would recommend cutting blade tabs if you're gonna do my style. But I'm not gonna do that to save you guys time. We're just gonna just go with it as is. If you guys are doing this, I would highly recommend chopping your blade tabs off so you don't accidentally cut your ear or something else with blade tabs. All right. And we're gonna use the ball end tech handle that he sent for funsies. For funsies, why not? I like that. And right now I'm like at a, damn, a darn fine shave right here and right here. These are my two trouble spots. Everywhere else is completely smooth. So I just wanna get in and see how this feels. Oh yeah, that's just what I needed right there. Just a little bit more blade fill, a little bit more blade efficiency. From the stamped, guys, again, this is the stamped, uh, aggressive, uh, uh, more efficient. I think they call it aggressive. They're aggressive head uh, from Maggards. That's definitely more my preferred. Honestly. And that's what happens, guys. That is exactly what happens when you uh, do a test, right? When you're uh, trying something out for the first time that somebody sends you that's completely... Uh, what would you call it? Just sp spontaneous? Surprise? You never know. You never know. Again, I really do believe you can get a perfect shave with just good form, but I really like that. That's nice. I, I think that's probably my more preferred when it comes to, I, I like the blade fill that. You see how much more blade exposure there is? And there's definitely a lot more blade gap to this, guys. Definitely a lot more blade gap. I way very much prefer that at this point in my shave experience. And the handle's nice. I think the handle's a good size. There we go. Perfect. No cuts, no deems, no bleeding. It took a little bit longer because we were using uh, more mild, guys. And that's exactly how I started. When I was learning, you know, I started with that more mild experience. And I honestly, going back, I think I could have learned to shave my head with an aggressive razor and been happier with it just because it would have taken less passes. It would have been less work. Um, but yeah, you can see definitely no irritation, no problems, no bleeding, um, no nicks anywhere near the ears. We just did the, the half side guys again, half side. And I'm going to just trim up my sideburns like this really quick. Oh yeah. This is nice. I like the weight of it. This reminds me a lot of that simplex razor, honestly. <clears throat> I got to do some playing around this. This reminds me a ton of the Simplex. That's a nice shave. Other than it not covering the, the tabs, guys. And I know some people actually like the tabs. Let me show you why. Because when you're un uninstalling, you can grab your tabs, spin the razor, and use them as a flexion point to spin. And then you can lift the, the cap off with the tabs, right? That's why they exist. So you can grab those and lift your cap off and not have to try to fiddle with pulling it apart when there's water creating pressure in between. Um, it actually does help a bunch. I just don't like the tabs very much, personally. I don't prefer the tabs. Yeah, that was awesome. Great shave. 
Honestly, I could probably finish it up with just the mild. I just really wanted to fill the other one, guys. Honestly, I just really wanted to fill the other one. So sue me. I just wanted to say I wanted to fill it. All right, that's it. We did the head shave. We are smooth. We are ready to go see Peter. We use Cremo as a pre-shave. The Charles Sevis, we're using his brush. We're using his soap. We're using his razor. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. I can't lie. I am so thankful for you guys. Um, again, if I don't say that, thank you so much. Thank you guys, everybody. Everybody that's here, thank you so much for being a part of this. Honestly, it makes it so much better being able to interact with you. I, when I miss on, like when I don't shave on certain days, I actually miss it. I miss getting with you guys. I miss, you know, showing you what's in the what's in the workshop, that kind of thing. Just fun. I it's just just something I really enjoy. So thank you for letting me it's, you know, like be a possibility. Really appreciate you guys just letting me do this and having it a possibility. All right, let's get in. Again, we're not going to go too far down because I do not want to hear the wrath of my wife saying that I overshaved my beard. But yeah, this is very efficient. Lots of blade fill to it. And definitely um, highly, highly efficient. But in a, like a, a very a nature, like a, it's in a very good way. Like it doesn't feel like it's just going to get wild or, you know, extreme on you. It's definitely manageable and it's predictable. And I like that. Manageable and predictable definitely worth it um i believe maggard's heads run anywhere between like 20 dollars and 30 dollars so i mean i think that you can get if you can get a head that performs this well i think that's definitely a good purchase especially for like a newbie shaver um this is very 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 comfortable for me and i feel like you can get a, a spectrum right from them you can pick up you know they're they're mild they're medium and they're aggressive and see kind of where you fit on a spectrum and then go from there. And I highly, highly recommend never discounting guys as a person that like has heard other people say, Oh, well, you're only going to like one thing forever. Don't, don't follow that logic. Right. I promise you guys. Okay. This is, I hate doing this. No advice from the Subi Shays, but my opinion, you want to hold on to a couple different, you know, moderate, medium and aggressives. Cause you may find as your experience changes, as your preferences change, that you may have liked certain razors more than others at the time you use them. And I have found that personally several times where I've gone back and reused something and said, you know, I, I had shaved with that five times and never liked it. And now I'm loving it, right? I have several razors that are that way. So you never really know. Your preferences do change. Especially if you're new. Um, if you're within like, you know, maybe a year or two of shaving this way. Do not just go say, well, I only like mediums or I only like uh, moderates or super aggressives because you may find that those preferences do change. Mine have over the course of the last while, even the last, course of the last month, my preferences have changed as I've played around with more vintage stuff. It just happens. As your experience grows, you know, your preferences may do as well. And they may not. You may uh, actually find that, you know, that something just never works for you. And that's great. That means you have an opportunity to help somebody else out that may love that thing, right? That's really what it comes down to. You may be able to share something else with somebody and get them great shapes too. And that's what I do. I, I hold on to my things that I, I think I am not going to love forever that somebody else may. Oh, this is great. I think that's how I'm getting a lot of this stuff is Charles and I are kind of the same mentality. You just pass it along to people that you think may actually get a better shave out of it or may enjoy it more than you. Again, this is awesome, Charles. I love the aggressive. Thank you so much, buddy. Again, this is no pressure. And for not ever playing with this razor, I like this. I would say it's probably uh, a 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10, as far as blade fill and um, efficiency goes. Uh, we definitely have played with more aggressive razors. I feel like the old type definitely is more efficient, but this is nice. This is like a... You guys saw I did not appreciate my neck and I did that on purpose.
I really wanted to test out and see how it feels with just the soap. And this was awesome. Yeah, no cuts. But it's not as efficient as like the R41 that I had the other day, right? That R41, that's the 10, right? If that's the 10, because I did the one pass and it was BBS for 24 hours <laughs> on the neck, guys. This is more like a seven or an eight, but it's a great quality product. I mean, it really is a quality product, guys. Absolutely quality, really smooth. Very nice, very good shave. Charles, thank you so much, buddy. And we're gonna grab a little bit of alum and just splash it on, because I just feel like I wanna fill kind of what we're looking at today. Yeah, no, no, I grab, no, no burn. No burn at all, you guys see this, look at this. <laughs> no burn, none. So, I mean, it did a good job at protecting my skin. The soap did an awesome job. The cellar did an awesome job. Uh, the razor wasn't to the point where, you know, gave me irritation at all. Huh. I'm a little, I'm a little confounded at this moment. A little confounded. I thought it was going to be much more uncomfortable. I, I never know. When, when, I, when I get a razor, it's just like a, try this. I never know. But honestly, with the alum and everything on there, there's no problems, guys. Great shave. That Maggard's razor really was an awesome shave. Very comfortable shave. Um, we're going to grab a little bit of the Kiwis. And guys, like I said, this is strong stuff. Mm. You know what it kind of reminds me of? When I was a little kid, we used to go into this store, this, this little craft store. And they had like those little villages set up with the train that runs around and the lights that turn on. And they had like potpourri and stuff and incense and cinnamon and spices always were burning in that store. Kind of reminds me of that, like where the pine cones have sat out for a long time. Um, like hints of cinnamon. It's really nice. It's a very, very, um, bold, very bold. Honestly, Charles, I think personally, my opinion guys, and this is a soap, this is actually adapter splash. They say to shake up. Look at all that sediment that builds up in the bottom of it. Look at how like murky it gets. It's, it's, it's a, it's a freaking splash, man. It's, it's a crash splash. Wow. I, I, I it's, uh, from... Ver, or Van Hule. This is the Van Hule Splash, guys. They make the Van Hule Bowls. They do some cool stuff. This reminds me so much of fall. Honestly, this may be my new fall scent. I'm going to see if I can get some more of this because I think this and Samhain may make my, my fall perfect. So, Charles, thank you so much. I don't even want to put clone on after that. That's, that's like go out and walk the town in like a little hoodie oh i love that that's like you know what i mean like it's like it's like a nice fall chili i've been talking for way too long oh no you guys i'm so sorry okay cologne yeah that's how we done do it that's super sweet guys thank you for being here i'm sorry this took forever but we wanted to do the the shave boxing a shave unboxing the retrospective shave complete and do it right you guys rock thank you so much for supporting the channel like this for being here, Charles, thanks for supporting the channel and providing it content. You rock. I can't tell you how much I just love doing this and love having you guys here. Let me know if there's anything you guys want to see from me. We'll be in touch. Take care of yourselves. Good luck in the work week. Bye, guys.